Did you carry out my instructions regarding the work to be done on this? Yes, sir. It's an I electronic dance item, but I was afraid to use it. I'm not afraid. <laughs> I'm? They, what, I am? They know everything that I have. But they know uh, nothing I think it goes under the suit. That will conceal me from my enemies. I'll stay here tonight. Perhaps I can see him again. If he'll have me, the big loot. I'm waiting from his mad course. And I'll get in touch with the government. I've already talked with Captain West of the War Department about Alex. And I'll give the they names of my colleagues to Senator McCarthy. No, Ann, they'll just keep him and what he has found under control so that he can't misuse it or dispose of it to a country that would. Oh, oh, oh. I never should have filled up on that four alarm chili. Oh, excuse me. Burn the file on the electric dance belt and pick up my manhood. It's under the chair. You have failed, monk. What do you mean? I rode straight no chaser around midnight. That's a good thing. But I will not fail. I cannot. I'll call if I need you. And I'll good night, call Roy Cohn. Good night. It's nice. Works real. Oh, that's no dance belt. Say, that's a pretty good Patrick Swayze. It is perfect, but for a shadow. But can you come back? Surely. I must come back. Then I'll go to Victoria's Secret. <laughs> See, you could steal me some candy bars or something someday. And now, It'd be really cool. At the Phantom, there is nothing that I cannot do. If I had you. Just put some lace on this dance belt. Now will our mystery guest sign in, please? Oh, he gets all the neat toys. Nah, if you guys don't mind, I got a Michelin man reading in an hour. Nobody can find our secret workshop without the Iron Man helping. I am Iron Man. Oh, it is concealed so cleverly. Nobody will ever find it. Unless they're from the Student Loan Association. By morning. Pack what we need. Look at all the pizzas that guy can hold. I'll uh, just let myself out. While the cat's away, the mice will play. Oh, I love what you've done with the place. I know I get compliments always. Thank you. Oh, I, sorry I didn't have everything packed. Look, set that down anywhere. Can I get you a beer? Uh, now, turn your head and clank. Wow, this guy really knows how to get the most out of what limited space he's got. No, he should be in better dungeons and gardens. My private stock, Glenfiddich, 30 years old. Just what his sinus is needed. He's just blowing off a little steam there. Quick, get Vix on the phone. I've just they invented the vaporizer. The source of all my power. If you found a way to save America millions of dollars a year, how would you tell them? Introducing 1-800-COLLECT. Now America's least expensive way to call someone collect. Use it instead of dialing zero to make the long distance charges easier for your friends and family to accept. It's a number that belongs to everyone, everywhere in the U.S. Every time they need to make a collect call. 1-800-COLLECT. Hi, may I take your order? Hello? 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 
just a reminder, the fries you go out for are now in. Fast Fries from Orida. Hello? It's just plain soap until it chemically reacts with water and dries to a dull, waxy film. It clings to every bathroom surface. It's soap scum, and it's very hard to get rid of. <laughs> or was introducing new Tylex soap scum remover. It's formulated specifically to dissolve soap scum on contact. Just spray it on and wipe it off to get your whole bathroom scum free. New Tylex soap scum remover, the sure way to wipe out soap scum. Wouldn't you give anything for hair this shiny and healthy? Blow drying gave me split ends. But Pantene Pro-V shampoo and treatment conditioner helped change all that. Pro-V contains provitamins which go deep into your hair, giving it extra treatment all the way to the tips. And look, it's so healthy, it shines. Pantene Pro-V shampoo and treatment conditioner for hair so healthy, it shines. It won't happen overnight, but it will happen. Here's Larry Posen, president of Beltone. My parents wanted to help people hear better. That's why they started Beltone over 50 years ago. Today, we continue the tradition of helping people at Beltone centers nationwide. Time and again, people come to us with the same concerns. I hear, but don't understand voices. People mumble. Beltone's 10-step test will tell you what you're hearing and what you're not. Call for this free brochure and a coupon for a free hearing test. Beltone offers tiny hearing aids like Clear Voice, one of over 60 different models of advanced Beltone hearing aids custom made to suit your hearing loss and lifestyle. Choice is clear. If you or someone you love has trouble hearing clearly, come to Beltone. Outstanding technology, professional advice, an American company. Call 1-800-776-1700 now and get your free Beltone Guide to Better Hearing and free hearing test coupon. Call 1-800-776-1700. You're at Comedy Central. Tonight at 9, watch The A-List. At 9.30, watch The Kids in the Hall. And then at 10 o'clock, it's Saturday Night Live. From what you say, Dr. Zucker has discovered something very important. I'm sure he has. Highly dangerous, too. Seal him up? D7? Snackmaster? Have you uh, made any search for it? No, we thought we'd better wait till you got here. Who are you, anyway? I'm in his laboratory. Aren't you going to take that disc? I'll, uh, I'll get it later. I'd hate to have one of those spiders find it in my pocket. Fools! <laughs> 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 oh. Fools! Let them search. Look at them. They find nothing. We'll just break right in here. I really like what they've done in here with the pastels and the uh, accoutrements. Yes. A lot of equipment seems to have been moved. Hmm. You can talk to Rankin of Aspiring. I will be with you, but hmm? unseen. Oh? Next, I'll show you how to make a bass snagger. Husband smokes a popular brand. Colombian. <laughs> can't stand tobacco. How about his assistant? He, he can't, can't stand smoking his right. assistant as either. I know Zorga worked alone. Okay, now you be the chauffeur, I'll Maybe be the like contessa. We can play that game Maybe again. We must be more careful than ever that no one discovers the entrance of our secret garage. Yeah, right, uh, right, right, or whatever. Yeah, just get in there. Get into this little crawl space, you lard butt. Jeez, what a pain. Oh, brother. Well, I'll phone headquarters and have the description broadcast. He'll be picked up somewhere, that is, if he still answers his own description. I just love informing on people. All clear? Yes, sir. Then we will go to meet the agent of Aspiring. Aspiring to what? When last seen, he wore striped trousers, dark foreign hand tie, and cutaway coat. And a light so blue Warner bra. Ooh. But it would take one to carry hmm. the things that are missing in this Hey, it's Gladys Kravitz. Yes, that's right. Put this on the cell type right away. We'll see there. Pick up that man. What do you mean? Give him a ride? No, yes. ask him out. What do you think I mean? I used to. He might be useful to me. He's just my type. A, B, negative. Hey, are you guys going to that dead concert? Yeah, did you hear Pigpen died? Pigpen is dead? Wow! Oh. If Pigpen died, I don't want to live either. What a long, strange trip. 
That's a rental. It's on my card. I'm dead now. Don't hitchhike. Please. Don't hitchhike. How fortunate. That simplifies everything. To you. Get Miss Daisy out of there. You make it seem that it is the famous Dr. Zorko who has been killed. Ah. The old switcheroo. Good. Then we will get another car, go home, and see what they are doing there. Then you'll be happy? I don't think so. Well, speaking. Uh, just trying to do what's right. And you? Right. I've got it. We'll fly right down there. Been a car found wrecked and burned on Highway 10, 50 mm -hmm. miles north of here. Nah, just the thing Body. we're looking for. Contents of the pockets indicated to Dr. Zorka. Hi, I'm Speedy, the alka Ha ha. You go with us? You're asking it's Cuckoo, the bird girl. Such a shock. I'll go. I must know. If Pigpen's still alive. Warm up the plane with you, Jim. Whenever you're ready, Mrs. Zorka. Put that lampshade on your head, tie femur bones around your waist, and dance naked in the moonlight. <laughs> Good one. Mm -hmm. I sure hope they have those little salty, sweet peanuts on this flight. Hmm. Huh. Good thing they still have a broom closet on this plane. They are taking my wife to identify the body we left at the car. She will know it is not mine. What the who? She is one of my discs, and she does not know it. I have just time enough to put that spider into her play. Am I wacky or what? She will go into suspended animation so that she cannot identify the dead man. Then I will take her from them and revive her. Only to put now her back to sleep again. Quick. We have to be there as soon as the plane arrives. I like this so much, I bought the company. It shouldn't take long. I'll check the lab equipment and try to figure out just what's missing. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. So Bye. 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 So, Bill, ever flown one of these shuttles before? Uh-oh, rain! There's something the matter with that door. I'm sure I shut it. Mm. Doesn't look to me as if you're dead. Wiener. Whoa! This wasn't in my bag when I left the house. You know, if you bite one of those, it'll spark in the dark. The one the spider went to. Mm -hmm. Are you certain it wasn't in your bag before? Positive. Now, are you sure there you're not a club well, I haven't seen one of those things yet. Hold on, will you, Jim? I want to turn it back to the apartment. Are you sure you didn't find it and take it as sort of a keepsake? Why, of course I didn't. Tell me, from where the car was found, have you any idea where Dr. Zorka was going? None whatever. Well, the pilot's bombed. I'm the automatic pilot. Discoveries. My name's Joel. A product that can allow you to make anything at all explode? We'll see it on today's show. Then we'll be showing you how to make your neighbor's house turn into instant rubble. But that's in the second segment. Now introduce my guests, Tom Servo and Crow. Thank you.